The Nintendo Switch console is underpowered. That's no secret. And with recent games looking worse and worse on the console, it's about time we took things into our own hands. This is the PhotoFast 4K Gamer Pro, and it's a 4K upscaler designed specifically for the Nintendo Switch. It works with other consoles as well, so long as they output 1080p, but the Switch is the only current gen one that needs the boost. Does this fill the Switch Pro-shaped hole in our hearts though? Or is it not the sizable upgrade that the price tag would have you believe? Well, let's start by breaking down what exactly it is, how you hook it up, how it works, and what it actually does to your Switch games. The setup for this is actually really straightforward. You plug one end into your system, plug the USB power cord into the back of the switch, or an external port, doesn't matter, then plug your TV into the output. When you do all that and power on your system, nothing's different. That's because there's this little button on it that switches between the modes. It starts in the off position. Pressing it once makes the image on your TV go out for a second, then it comes back on in low enhancement mode. Pressing it a second time turns it to medium, and once more for high. Pressing it after that just turns it back off. When you cycle through the settings, it doesn't look that much different at a glance, because, well, the difference between 1080p and 2160p just isn't that noticeable from afar. Up closer though, you'll start to see some pretty substantial changes. Everything looks so much more crisp. Objects whose edges were once blurred are now defined and very visible. It also increases your sense of depth, since the shadows contrast way more and everything has super sharp borders. As the enhancement gets higher, each pixel is shown with more and more clarity and that can sometimes result in blocky, jagged looking picture. But you can play around with it to figure out which option looks best to you. Sometimes it just depends on the game you're playing too. When you look at the gameplay side by side, the base switch looks like a super fogged up window, and the 4K Gamer Pro just kind of wipes it down and gives you a way better view. And if you're concerned about the delay this device could potentially cause, you can put that to rest. There's no noticeable lag whatsoever, even when running through this and my capture card. As for how exactly this thing works, I have no idea. They vaguely state that it uses image processing technology, but that could be anything. I'll tell you what it doesn't do though. It doesn't add anything that wasn't already there. It just takes what is there and enhances it. This doesn't turn your Breath of the Wild into Horizon Forbidden West in terms of lighting, textures, and graphics as a whole. It just lets you see what's there way better, which isn't always for the better. Some games that were made with the console's limitations in mind didn't put as much detail into things, since the Switch isn't capable of showing it anyways, so being able to see those clearer could be a little jarring. I didn't really experience anything like this in my time with it, but it is worth mentioning. For a lot of games, this graphical difference is hardly noticeable, unless you put it side by side, but for some, it's a literal night and day difference. Any game that runs under 1080p natively on the Nintendo Switch just flat out looks like crap, and this upscaler especially benefits those. This device only reads 1080p input though, so you need to make sure your Switch is outputting at that resolution no matter what. To do that, you have to go into your system settings, then under TV settings, change the TV resolution from automatic, or whatever else it was on, to 1080p. Once you do that, the Switch actually upscales the gameplay to 1080p using its own hardware. And from there, the 4K Gamer Pro upscales it the rest of the way. Yeah, it's a massive difference. A ton of Switch ports, more so nowadays, are super watered down graphically in order to run on the console, and this really compensates for that lack of power. However, it doesn't add more power, it just hides the lack of it better. So games that struggle with performance aren't going to get much help. If something runs like shit on the Switch, it's still going to run like shit. All this does is take the information that the Switch gives it, runs it through some advanced image enhancing program, and spits it out with four times the amount of pixels and more color depth. So no, this does not turn your normal Switch console into the elusive Switch Pro, because it doesn't change the system's capabilities at all. It works best in situations where graphics were sacrificed for the sake of higher FPS gameplay. This thing crushes those games and gives you the best of both worlds. But for those that push visuals to the console's limit and hurt the frame rate as a result, they aren't going to see too much help from this. Also, a buggy game is a buggy game. This doesn't give Pokemon Scarlet and Violet more polish. It doesn't save Sonic Frontiers from popping. It doesn't turn 20 FPS into 60. So, Magic Conch, what does the 4K Gamer Pro do for poorly optimized Switch games? Nothing. Pretty much. Things will look more clear, but an unplayable game remains unplayable. But if you play a lot of first party titles and just wish they looked as good as PS5 and Xbox Series X games, this does the job. And I say that in quotations because it's not on that same level, but it's the closest we can get. 
And for quite a few third-party titles, this is a major difference maker, just as a revised Switch would be. But it's not a revised console, so those games that could use the help most aren't gonna get it. I'm not usually a guy who cares a lot about graphics. If I find a game fun, I'll play it no matter what it looks like. So for me, the small improvements this thing does bring to the table don't justify that absurd price tag. I've gotten this far into the video without mentioning it, because yeah, it's a lot, and it deserves its own portion of the video. This is not just the price of a new game. It retails for $200, and while you can usually get it for around $150, that's not much better. It is a lot of money, and the benefits don't really justify it to me. Now, I was sent this product by its creators, but if I wasn't, I don't think I'd even consider purchasing it. At least, not for the purpose of enhancing my Switch. And that's not to say the product is bad. It does make your Switch games look as nice as they can on the current hardware. It's just not a big enough gap for me. I actually thought of a really good example to compare it to, though. So, if you know anything about the GameCube, you'll know that the original model has a digital AV out and an analog AV out. The analog port was on every GameCube and uses those yellow, white, and red composite cables, which I'll put for ADI video. But that digital port used component cables, the blue and green ones, and I'll put it for p which looks miles better and cleans up a lot of that blurriness the original picture had. Nintendo didn't make a lot of those cables though, so they got really expensive, around the same price as the 4K Gamer Pro. So for most gamers, it just wasn't worth grabbing for a marginally better viewing experience. For those that really treasure the look of games though, it was worth that price, and this is kind of the same story. Except with this, you can use it on any console that outputs 1080p, which means any PS4, Xbox One, Wii U, Xbox 360, and PS3 can benefit from it too. So when you look at it like that, it's a little easier to see the value, because those 7th gen games see a major enhancement from the 4K upscaling, just like those crappier looking Switch games do, but it's like their entire library. I still use my Xbox 360 quite a bit, and it looks really dated nowadays. But with this, I mean it still looks dated, but it looks a lot better. Also, it's the best visuals you're gonna get off an OG system. Sure there's emulators that make things look way better, but this keeps that feeling of authenticity intact. It's the same story with the PS3 too, and it's even cooler that the original fat PS3 would let you play PS1, 2, and 3 games in 4K. It's crazy and totally overkill, but it's still the best way to play these games on a modern TV. And since the Wii U plays Wii games in full HD, I can upscale any game I want to 4K. Nintendo won't give us Mario Galaxy 2 on the Switch? Fine, I'll play it in 4K on my Wii U. And Mario Kart Wii with CTGP installed and upscaled is literally better than Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm not joking. While the box states it's designed for the Switch, it's really just marketed that way because of the high demand for a 4K Switch revision. And hey, they're being totally honest with all their descriptions and promotions. This does work well on the Switch after all, but I think that angle's kind of holding it back. When you look at this as just a Switch upscaler, no, it's probably not worth it. But when you take its broader compatibility into account, you realize that this thing's actually super versatile and nice to have. Especially if you're someone who records gameplay footage or streams. This can really be used to step up your game, and it's definitely going to for me. I know this wasn't the most positive review, but I want to be as honest as I can with you guys so you can better make the decision for yourself on whether or not you want this. And if you do decide that you want to purchase it, please use the link in my description, because a small percentage of your purchase will go toward helping this channel. It would really make my day, so thank you. Other than that, please consider watching some of the other videos on screen, and have a great rest of your day. Peace.